Welcome back to Dynamite Bros. So, Andrew. Yes? Uh, the Shadow Temple is essentially the horror aspect in this fantasy game. Is it like the Shadow Realm from Yu-Gi-Oh? No. The Shadow will get that. Um, basically, in all my fantasy games, uh, all the RPGs that, I, that I'm used to playing, there's always that one section in there that's basically a horror theme, right? Yeah. One who can see the eye of truth will be able to see what is hidden in the darkness. And uh, most prominently, I've seen this in... Uh, Hyrule's bloody history of greed and what? Hatred. They, Hyrule has a bloody past. Mm. Is he always going to say that? No, it's because it keeps clicking it in front of uh, context-sensitive areas. <sighs> Tricks fill, full of ill will. So, like, April Fool's Day is coming. Pretty much. Anywho, so yeah. in a game like Fable, where yeah. there's horror uh, aspects, it helps take away from, like, the general, like, kind of colorful and, like, hopeful fantasy that I'm used to. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I like that kind of offset of, oh shit, this place is kind of here to fuck your shit up. Uh, I don't know. I find that enjoyable, that that those horror areas. So in Fable, there was something like uh, the Darkwood Forest mm -hmm. and then uh, the Lichfield Graveyard. Like, those are, like, just examples of, like, places that are just really fucking creepy. And I like that. Because it takes away from what I'm used to. Wait a minute, did we already fight this thing? This is a different one. <laughs> so, would you say it's kind of like, uh... Actually, you can actually see where he's gonna pop up next. So would you say it's like- oh, from the shadow on the floor? Yep. So would you say it's like, um, that creepy castle in DK64? Yes, but creepier. I mean, you got zombies and shit. How yeah, zombies and shit in the other one too, only they were crocodile zombies. Yeah, the- well, also, DK64 was just a colorful game in general. This isn't as colorful. Mm. So, it's just overall creepier, you know? In my opinion, at least. Mm-hmm. And what's in the box? What's in the fucking box? Cross the plates, damn. Oh, I wish. The hover boots. Hover boot. Hover boots, like... Are they gonna be, like, actual hover boots that you can fly, or...? You can't fly, you can just uh, glide on the ground for a, a short period of time, and you have no traction anymore. So it's basically like you're walking on ice. So it's like you have, uh, ice banana peels. peels. No, because banana peels, you would just slip and fly forward. Oh my god, you're right, I guess it is a matter of... I'll just keep seeing that message again. Huh. That's kind of annoying. And oh, what? Oh, I thought that was a man. It's just a, it's a zombie. It's a redead, actually. Okay, wait, redead? Yeah, redead. Why is it called redead? Because it's not undead, it's just dead again. I. I don't know, Andrew. I don't know the logic what? behind it. I don't know. It's a Z. Zombie schmomby. Uh, I mean, Mayor would want us to pour concrete into those tombs. And tie their shoes. So that them trying to get around will be difficult. Wait, tie their shoe. Wait, what do you mean? Tie their shoelaces. But where'd you get that from? Uh, it might have been another episode of Family Guy, actually. No, I was, no, I was quoting Family Guy, um... I'm quoting when, something else. When, uh, like, he's pouring cement in, into a, a, a into a coffin that's getting buried, and then... It was uh, Quagmire's coffin. Yeah, and he was like, you'll thank me later when our brains are not being eaten. Mm -hmm. Skull of Truth. Gee, I wonder which one it is. It's probably the skull that still appears even when I look over it with the Eye of Truth. Just a thought. What exactly are you doing? So, I, okay, so from what I remember, a, a shadowy thing came out of the well, 
And now we're trying to hunt that shadowy thing? Yes, and it's in the Shadow Temple. and uh, Because that's... Uh, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I went too far. Uh, you can't just go on the other side and push it? Or pull it? No, no, no. Okay. I just... I can pull it back. I just... I have to let go now. Yep. See? There you go. Okay. Yep. And this is why I need the hover boots. Woof! Because I would otherwise not make that. Those... Th those... I'm sorry, but those shoes really do look like, uh... Like... like it, they look like slippers that Lucia would wear. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> They're stylish! <laughs> God, this fucking controls. Well, maybe if you would be more gentle. I'm being as gentle as, a. Uh, uh, something that's gentle. Okay. I just noticed that, like, the grin uh, and big nose that that thing has. It kind of reminds me of uh, the, the, those Ojama monsters from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Ojama monsters? Yeah, Ojama red, Oj no, no, uh, Ojama yellow, Ojama black, Ojama green. Ah, fuck, 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 off, fuck, off, fuck, off, fuck, off, fuck, off. What? What, what? what is going on? It stunned me with its piercing scream. You know, th th this would be a lot more epic if it weren't for the for the slippers. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like whoa, 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 moving around, moving around. And it doesn't help that like you're like slipping and sliding with these slippers. Yeah, I, I imagine <laughs> that it wouldn't help. Well, there we go. I'm and sorry. He's gone. You're not very threatening. Just like. The hero of time has come to attack us, and he. Oh, he. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, uh, is he not gonna attack? Oh, he. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. Uh, oh, there he goes again. <laughs> hmm. And it would be kind of epic if, like, during at one point as he's passing by the monsters, he's like moonwalking like Michael Jackson. Ow. <laughs> 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 Oh, those silver rupee things, you gotta collect all of them to unlock the thing. To unlock a thing, yes. Okay. Sweet. Also, you can roll under those things. Yes, and save myself. Frightful doom. Yeah. Wouldn't it be helpful if you took off the slippers? No, it honestly doesn't matter, really. It's not that bad. I just forgot how to get up there. Do you have to hook grip? Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, oh, right there? Yeah, that thing? Yeah, there it is. And... Bang! Ah. Just underneath it. Bang! Hey! There we go. Doors open. Sweet. Da -da 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 Although I do, I the, oh, those those that, scythe that things. That was weird. What? I wasn't cut by the scythe, even though the scythe passed over my body. Mm. What about the scythe I things? I always thought that scythes were like really cool weapons. But it's farming equipment. I know, but, like, they make cool weapons anyway, even though they're not practical. Well, I mean, you know why, uh, they use a scythe in the personification of, uh, personifications of death, right? Because it, the guy's harvesting souls, and yeah, that's what, you're uh... you're reaping souls just like you reap a harvest. That's the yeah. whole point. That's the metaphor. Symbolism and shit. And shit. Yeah, pretty much. Although the best scythe, I gotta say, I've seen... But besides the, the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Uh, you mean the best death? Yeah, the best Grim Reaper. His side's pretty cool, even though it's not as fancy. I don't know, I just like the basic design of it. But I also like the the, the super over-the-top design uh, that Hidan from Naruto has. That, the, the one that has three blades. I mean, that's kind of super over-the-top and unnecessary, just like you said. Actually, well, well, no, it fits with his powers because um, the goal is actually not to kill the person with the weapon. He wants to, like, just get a scratch of blood. Right. 
to so that he could do his whole ritual uh, attack. Yeah. Like out of, out of all the Akatsuki members, he is the most like aesthetically uh, awesome in my opinion. I mean, my favorite scythe or character that wields a scythe is actually Ruby from uh, well Ruby because it's actually a sniper scythe. Ruby. Ruby. Yeah. I never. It's I made by Red vs. Blue people. I don't even know who that is or what it's that is. It's a 16-year-old girl who wields a scythe. Yeah. Wait, is she, yeah, I think she's 16. She's either 16 or 14. I, I also like a Soul uh, Eater. I never saw Soul Eater, but I've been meaning to. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you just you just tink to shield. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Ah! And then I was just imagining like him looking down, looking back up, and then holding up a sign that says "Help," <laughs> and then he just falls <laughs> like to his a Looney Tune. Yes. yes. <laughs> Oh shit, should I be here first? I don't know if I should be here now or later. You know, whoever designed this dungeon, like in a realistic standpoint, it was kind of a not the brightest uh, person because honestly, they just dodge those sides. Oh no! Chest. I could just crawl on the floor, really. Your shield is gone? Yeah, he ate my shield. Can you get it back? Yeah, if I kill him quickly, I can get it back. You got the Hillian shield back. Yep. I thought that was a raven for a second. Nope, it's a bat. It's a and bat. you know what? I'm just gonna wing it without the shield for now. Sounds like a- seems like a good idea. No, it doesn't. No? No, I don't think it's a good idea. Well, what's the benefit of it? Oh, uh, I look cool. I mean, you do you, but... <laughs> what, you don't think he looks cool without the shield? I, I- I don't think he looks cool, period. How do I open this door? With or without the shield. Like, we've been over this. I think he looks like a Christmas elf. Well, guess what? <laughs> Fuck your opinion. Um, is there more bats to kill? I guess there's more bats to kill. But you have to kill the, all the bats to unlock the door? Yeah, that's usually how it is in, in a room with enemies. You usually have to kill them all to open the door. Yeah, mass murder is usually the uh, only option to progress in life. I mean, if you're Hitler... Yeah, oh, get him, get him. no one's Hitler now. There was only one Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> and good thing for that. Yeah, uh, I really don't want to deal with another Hitler. I don't think the world needs another Hitler. I'm pretty sure we were done after the first one. No, but now, like, you're prob we're probably going to get in the comment section uh, that uh, so so uh, enter any politician's name here as Hitler. Yeah, but I, I think until they've actually committed genocide against a certain uh, race of people... That is number that has their death numbered in the millions. I'm pretty sure they're not fucking Hitler. Like they could be, you know, uh, a, a, a dictator or something like that. But they're definitely not Hitler yet. All right, mm -hmm. not the case. Does I that did. answer your question? Oh, okay. All right. I was about to say, like, really? They last that long? No. They didn't last that long than the other thing you did. Nope. Definitely not that long. Is, is his sword, like, crooked? Yes. And stuff? Remember Remember, you had, you had that question where it's like, does a, a curved sword yeah, I asked make that sense? Yeah, I asked that uh, for, for, for Sean Yu's sword. Yeah, exactly. That's He basically has Sean Yu's sword. Ah, I fucked up. I, the, the, I, I, I can't stand those slippers, man. <laughs> well, guess what? You're gonna have to. I, I, I don't mean stand them in a bad way, it's just like... I think they're stylish. Like, I had trouble, uh, like, you know, um, taking him seriously before. Now... <laughs> okay, I gotta go here. What 
fuck was that? What? Where? The... In the distance? Yeah. Oh, it's just decoration. Oh. Fuck. That's okay, I got a fairy. You would think that the slippers would pr protect you, but no. <laughs> the slippers do not protect you from death. Are you, please tell me you're going to fight Ganondorf in those things. It, it, it'd be really difficult, but <laughs> technically there's nothing stopping me from doing that. <laughs> hero, <laughs> hero of Hyrule, everyone. <laughs> yep, he fought Ganondorf with some really weird slippers. The slippers of truth, like... The sli the, no, the, the, the slippers the, of hovering. The, the Master Sword was just uh, an accessory. The <laughs> slippers are the real Hero of Time's... Uh, Arsenal. Yes. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> you... No, you didn't need... Uh, you didn't need the uh, Master Sword. You needed to get to the hover boots. The, the Master Sword was only a means to get to the slippers. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Another gold uh, scalapala. Uh, scalapala, yes. Sweet. Ba -ba -da -da -da! Is there anything in the other thing? No. Um. Ah, oh, shit! I do need the block. All right. Why do you need the block? Uh, because I can't get on the top floor without it. Is there anything in that chest? Yes, I'm gonna get it. Come, hold your horses. Calm your tits. Okay. Calm your tatas. All right. I know. It's just that now. I, I, I now I get to annoy you with chest. Oh, there's a chest. Get the chest. Get the chest. Yeah, but also, do you know all the items that you're gonna find in uh, um, Kingdom Hearts? Kingdom too? Hearts, because I the uh, important shit. Yes. Okay, because I know a lot of the items that I'm gonna find. More rupees. Typically, who leaves all this money lying around? The boss, obviously. He doesn't know what to do with it. Although I could also ask the same thing in like Super Mario. Like, who just leaves all these coins lying around? Uh, like this is a gold mine. Well, it's technically not gold, but I see your point. No, the 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 coins are gold. Are they not? They're rupees. I'm talking about the coins in Mario. Oh. Oh, those. Oh, right. Yeah, those, I would say that they they could definitely be classified as gold. Wouldn't it be awesome, like, instead of uh, working for a living, you just go around and break pots and bushes and stuff just to find I'm money? I'm pretty sure that's called robbing. Well, well no, 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 like, it, it, it's not left by anyone. Like, it's just there. Um, yeah. Like, I would much prefer to do that for a living. Than to actually work? Yeah, yes. I think you and every si everyone else in America, or the world, rather. Just, like, work? I don't need to fucking work. Yeah, just, like, search for, uh, just for search for cash, and, oh. Oh, dear. There's the fucking re-dead. I'm stupid fucking... I, I'm gonna get the name correct in a second when I lock onto one. Wait. But I'm pretty sure it's re-dead. Well, regardless, it's a stupid fucking name. Come on, Navi. Any any day now, Navi. Don't rush me. Don't rush me, Peter. Yeah, Re Peter. dead. Its gaze will paralyze you. Yep, see? Re dead. Link, I'm gonna get some groceries. Do you want anything? Uh, yeah. Some magic. Give me a fairy that can resurrect me, because you can't. You're my buddy fairy. Or, um... Maybe... Wait, what? what? Really? I didn't oh, get no, it? Oh, no, 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 you got it. I think. No, not that one. Oh. Because I saw the thing pop over your head, I thought you got it. No, I didn't get that one for some reason. I don't know why, but I didn't. Alright, that one I got. Oh, you can, you can uh, stop midair? No. Oh. I, I thought you stopped midair over there. Nope. Oh, is that how I'm gonna get it? Yeah, that's probably how I'm gonna get it. How many rupees is this thing worth? Five? Uh, 
No. Yeah, five. You're right, actually. Yes. Mm -hmm. right, five. Math! Anyway, next time on Dynamite Bros, uh... We're gonna find out what's in this big-ass thing. Is it Doom? It's Doom. Say everyone. Bye. Don't scuttle! Don't scuttle!